Here we are in Jordan Station in the beautiful Niagara Peninsula, home of a floriculture industry bar none in all of North America. And we're at the North End Gardens, home of Ted Ospring, who brought to Canada the Medinilla plant, originally from the Philippines, first grown by the Dutch. Ted bought the North American rights and is selling it all through Canada and the U.S. and doing very well at it. And I happen to have some of these plants and love them. Originally, we started with bedding plants and holiday crops, tulips, hydrangeas, Easter lilies. Um, slowly, we um, started specializing more bedding plants. Five years ago, we were looking for new crops. We're always looking for new crops, so we found the Medinilla. So we've um, slowly transitioned over 30% of our production is now Medinilla. We have about 480 different varieties of bedding plants. So we do everything from A to Z, we'll say, alyssum to zinnias. If you can find it at your um, big box store or your supermarket or your independent garden center, we grow it. They are still all annuals that we do in the springtime. Um, that becomes a tougher market as we're now um, a smaller family operation, my wife and myself um, run this operation together with all of our employees. We have up to 40 employees here in season. Spring annuals is very seasonal, so we were looking to do year-round production. Uh, that's where Medinellas come in, because we plan on producing that 52 weeks of the year. We've always tried to, when we moved here, we wanted a modern, efficient farm. Um, on fairly large-scale production, we were producing six years ago up to 250,000 poinsettias cuttings. We were doing um, cuttings and propagation and supplying other growers. That propagation now comes from Guatemala, Costa Rica and Colombia and they can produce it with a lower, lower labor cost than we can. So we have to look for products um, of higher value. Th this is bred in Holland. Um, this will be coming out we hope in the next three to five years. That, that has patents on it. Um, the darker pink variety that we have in front of me here. This is an M8. It doesn't have an official name yet. This was also bred in Holland. So this is a special variety with patents on it. This is um, another variety that they're developing in Holland right now. And this is also patented. So we hope to have this maybe within a year in Canada. Smaller leaves, nice smaller flowers, very suitable for the house. It's all from the Medinilla family. Um, when we look at the breeders in Holland, they probably have upwards of 150 different varieties and different flower forms in the works but it takes a long time because Medinilla cannot be done by tissue culture. If you look at an orchid, a Phalaenopsis, they can do it by tissue culture. So there's a, I'll call it a rapid turnover with varieties and new colors. Because Medinilla cannot be done by tissue culture, uh, bringing new varieties of, is a five to 10 year process. When, when we looked at the Medinilla and we're looking for new varieties ourselves, we're looking for a couple things um, something special, the, the public's always looking for new and interesting. So Medinilla is definitely new and interesting. The flowers on, on the Magnifica, uh, the Dolce Vita, um, last two months easily. They're fairly easy to care for, water them once a week, very much like an orchid, a low light level, just like an orchid. But they're challenging to grow to this stage in the greenhouse level. So we as a producer are looking for something more exclusive for ourselves. So there's a lot of technology behind the propagation and the growing of a Medinella. So to get it to this stage, we work with our partners in Holland to um, yeah, bring this technology to North America so that we can grow it here. It's different light levels in a different climate in North America. So we have had some challenges with that. Um, one of our consultants is Dr. Theo Blum from the University of Guelph, and he's been extremely helpful with bringing that Dutch technology to Canada and translating it into Canadian, not the language, but really the technology bringing it here. So when we look at these varieties too, we look at the challenges, we do consumer trials. Here. So we'll take a cutting like this, we'll have a propagation zone, it's all climate controlled. Um, there's a misting irrigation system that works on light levels. Uh, on a sunnier day, it'll go more often. On a cloudier day, it'll go less often. So we'll, we'll take a cutting like this with no roots and we'll stick it in the pot. And then uh, 10 weeks from now, we'll have a plant like this. So it still looks the same. It actually hasn't done any growing on the surface, but hopefully if I turn it upside down, you'll start to see some roots coming from here. So that takes about 10 weeks just to get roots on the plants. Once it's well rooted and, and we start to see 
little bit of growth like this and some shoots coming out, then we move it to the second stage of growing. Because these ones are still pretty young. There you go. There. Export is a big part of our business, um, especially the United States. Uh, when we started with the Metanilla, uh, we asked for the exclusive rights for North America. Um, we've actually shipped cuttings back to Holland, so we ship cuttings back to Europe as, as we get nicer varieties. Um, we're shipping in the future cuttings to um, Bogota, Colombia, um, because they're interested in the production, because we have the technology for that. Uh, we travel extensively through the states the last three years. Um, we're looking to have distributors in California, but we've also been invited to Mexico um, to train and show them how to grow medanillas and to produce stock and cuttings for them. We want to see this North American wide um, within the next three years that everybody knows what a medanilla was. When we brought it here three years ago, very few people in North America knew what a medanilla was, only a few plant specialists. Our website now last year had over 40,000 hits on our website. So we're hoping within two more years, one or two million people will know what a Medinilla is. Mm -hmm.